people originate from? Where did your people's originate? My, my Where did the Moors originate right. Right from? My grandmother and my great grandmother and my great great grandmother was born right here. Keep going back. We ain't going that far back because I wasn't around. No, I want you to go back. But we ain't going that far back because I just told you. I was Why are you scared to be with Africa, brother? I'm never scared, brother. Yes, hold up, is? hold up, brother, hold up. If I if I can read some things to you to show you that the Moors are Africans. How old, is, the, how old is the Moors flag? The Moors flag is over 10,000 years Which old. Wrong. Sabir Bay. what in the doohickey are you talking about? The Morris flag was adopted in 1915, which makes it 106 years old. Why are you regurgitating this Moorish nonsense? You brothers are lost. How old, is, no the, how old is the Morris flag? The Morris flag is over 10,000 years which, old. How old, is, no is, the, how old is the Morris flag? The Morris flag is over 10,000 years which, old. How old, is, no is, the, how old is the Morris flag? The Moorish flag is over 10,000 years old. But you're going to tell me it's 10,000 years, but when I ask you how far Hold up, hold up. Yeah, come answer, on, man. Answer, 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 hold, up. hold up. These are some of the enemies of Africa. You see that? That's some of them medieval Europeans. Like, like Columbus with the fairs on his head. These is the uh, uh, the Eastern stars with the fairs on the head, stealing up out of Kemet. He ain't saying that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. You ain't well, wait. I'm, you gonna get your chance. I'm gonna show you this phase. Wait a minute. Let it go through. I, Cause I didn't put it in uh, order like I needed to. This Muhammad Ali, the most wicked Arab Turk that ever lived on the uh, on the planet, responsible for killing. Uh, uh, 50, 60 million Africans when he took Egypt. Look at the red fairs on his head. I want you to look very clearly. When I go back to Egypt and I go back to Africa and I know that's my enemy and you got his hat on his head, that's his, you think I'm going to stop? You think I'm going to stop? You think I'm going to stop to ask you, is you down with me? And I, I done already identified this man's uniform. You think I'm going to stop, man, when this go down? And we in Africa, I'm going to advise you out of love. Take that hat off, boy. Because I'm telling you, it's a mark of the beast. This is the, the over there right now, the Arab, all throughout Africa. Even the Russians wear that fez. It come up out of that Turkish realm. Here go that Greco uh, uh, Christian uh, background over there, Roman, Russian. They all wearing that hat. So tell me, my man, how do I separate you from him in a war? Mm. And you ain't got no time to drop no law on me. Or oh, explain mm. nothing to no, me. No, we gonna go into all that. How go you going? Go go listen, go on the battlefield, I'm gonna be ready. real. And out of love, I'm gonna tell you this. On the battlefield, when I gave my oath in Africa, man, I got to lay you down. I'm not gonna ask you. Well, you got this man's hat. This is Gordon. You got look, look you got this man's hat on. You got this man, and I'm lost. I, who made this up? Who made this? Did I make this up? Since I'm lost? Look, see the white man right there? See all the niggas back there with the fans is on? Look at him. Let us explain this. Look at him. Explain. Go ahead and explain. I would like to hear this. All right, brother. Now, we can Uh oh, wait a minute. Let me pause right there. Let me pause there. Let me go back to that. Let me go back to that. I'm going to have to go back to that one because that that one that one that one going that that. Let me pause that one. All right. Let me pause. When you get a chance, you get back on that one, side now. Okay. All right, now let me let me address address that now. All right. The Fez or El Faz Tabush Tarbush. Ooh, that shit is deep right there, though. Come this on, is the this is an ancient headdress, right? Wrong. The thing is that we wore many different headdresses. In English and modern time, we're calling it a fez. Any person that has a fez is either a Moor, a student of Moor science, or a descendant of Moors. Just because you see this fez on a certain European head, what that shows you right there is that they have stolen your science, again, your custom, your heritage, and they're wearing this crown. That's a that's a that, that's a good slight of hold conversation. On, hold, on, hold on, let me let me. Or it's just his head dressed, and let you me took it. Let me. Finish. What? Let me finish now. Once no, again, I gotta explain this. Once it's again, different. the Europeans, based on your school of thought in the nation of gods and earth, I like to use that one. The Europeans only been on this planet for over six thousand years. This crown is older than six thousand years, brother. Okay. 
Wrong. And you show me where it's been worn, just like I. Okay, no problem. Listen, if if I can get on here and I'm show you, right and if I, wait a minute, if I can show you all these photos right. of the right. went. Right. Just come on in here and show me the ancient, just like when I went to okay. Kemet. I got a lot of stuff from Kemet, okay. and they do not wear that hairdress. Go to type up and go Google mm-hmm. anybody any anybody in order to Google e, um, Easter Island. In this modern day and time, we're calling affairs, but like I told the brother, you could go to Easter Island and see a red block on their head. They may, may have called it another name, but here right now in this modern time, we're calling the fez or al Faaz. If you want me to say al Faaz, ancient Arabic, we could do that. Now, this is a perfect example of why, in my opinion, Moorish Americans are absolutely ridiculous these gentlemen are having a discussion and one of the topics that they're talking about is the fez hat so this morris brother is sitting up here trying to educate us on the fez hat because his fez is under attack sarah sutin said he he's coming after that turkish headdress and these more what these more sovereigns tend to do is they when defending the fez hat they start spewing absolute nonsense he's trying to make a point that the fez hat is an ancient headdress and that you can go to easter island and see that the stones on Easter Island are wearing a fez. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 100% absolutely incorrect. Now, this is the problem that I have with these more sovereigns. When it's time for them to defend whatever it is that, that they're trying to defend, in this particular case, it's... It's the Turkish Fez that he's defending. So when they get in defense mode, they start purposely trying to mislead and serve up misinformation to try and make and justify them wearing this Turkish headdress that they have no business wearing. Everyone knows that the Fez is a Turkish headdress worn by the Ottoman Turks and the Ottoman Turks gave their eunuchs this headdress. So in essence, Moorish Americans are wearing the headdress of their oppressors. The Ottoman Empire, the Ottoman Turks took African slaves and inducted them into their society and the slaves were at the bottom of the totem pole these slaves were eunuchs they used to guard the women a lot of the eunuchs were castrated so they couldn't even have children part of their uniform was wearing a turkish fez so these Morris Americans are running around with the headdress of their oppressor. And now that this man, Sarah Sutton Seti, is bringing up the fact that they shouldn't be wearing the fez because a lot of the times throughout history, the men that were running around and colonizing Africa had a fez on their heads. So this Morris brother is trying his best to defend the Turkish headdress that he has on. And in the mix of doing that, he is misleading us. He is being disingenuous. He's telling us that the stone blocks on Easter Island had on the fest, first and foremost, the stone heads on Easter Island do not have on a fez. That's number one. Number two, the stone heads that are on Easter Island are not of African descent. They are not stone heads of African people. 
That's number two. Number three, with these more sovereigns, if it, it their thing is, if something looks similar, then it has to be that. Like the the stone blocks on Easter Island, they have something on their head, which to them looks like a fez. So to them, it has to be a fez, which is totally incorrect. Now let's take a quick look at the stone heads on Easter Island and let's look into what exactly it is that these stone heads on Easter Island actually had on their heads. Now keep in mind, this Morris man is trying to tell us that the stone heads on Easter Island had a fez on their heads and that is 100% incorrect as you are about to see. Pukau. Pukau are the hat-like structures or top knots formerly placed on the top of some Moai statues on Easter Island. So now as you can see, the headdress that are on the statues on Easter Island are not fezes. This Morris brother is purposely trying to miseducate us and would like us to believe that the headdress of the stone statues on Easter Island are fezes when they are not. The headdress that are on the statues of Easter Island, the name of that headdress is Pukau. That is not a fez on the statues on Easter Island. I don't care if some of them are red, doesn't matter. Just because it's red does not mean that it is a fez. It is not a fez. It is a pukau. Read it and weep, ladies and gentlemen. This is like, this is what really bothers me about Morris Americans and Morris sovereigns. When they're in a debate and somebody is questioning them about their headdress, they'll just start spewing a bunch of nonsense to try and prove their point. And what makes it even more ridiculous is that the things that they say can very easily be debunked. They act as if when they say what they say, we're just supposed to believe them and not then do research on what they're saying. Because as you can see, I just proved that this Morris American is misleading us. He's being disingenuous. He's telling us that the stone statues on Easter Island are wearing a fez. He said, look at it. They have a red block on their head. The red block is called a pukau. It is not a fez. And no, don't try to say, oh, they, it might have been named something different back then. No, a fez is a fez and a pukau is a pukau. The stone heads on Easter Island are not wearing a fez. Now let's look at some pukau hats on actual living human beings. And you tell me if the pukau could be mistaken for a fez. Because in my opinion, it can't. If you look at the pictures, the pukau, it's, it, it hangs on over the head of a person. Uh, Fez sits on top of the head, but a pukau doesn't. It it protrudes over a head, just like a brim of a fitted hat. So I don't know why these Morris Americans make such silly statements like this. Okay, so here are some of the stone statues that are on Easter Island and as you can see the pukau on their heads 
that these Morris Americans try and act like as a fez hat, you can see that the pucal extends over the head, almost like a brim. That is not a fez. I don't know why Morris Americans try to sit up here and lie and say that that is a fez. Now let's take a look at some pucal or actual living human beings. Okay, so here we have the pucal or actual living human beings. Now this headdress should not be mistaken for a fez. Look at it. It extends over the head. This does not sit on the head like a fez. Now, I understand Morse Americans, they try to use the tactic that if it looks like something, then it has to be something. And that's just not how life works. Just because something looks similar, even though the puke out to me, in my opinion, doesn't look like a fast because it extends over the head and there's no tassel. So in my opinion, the puke out is... I would never mistake it for a fez hat, but these Moors Americans, they like to cherry pick and say certain things to help their arguments. So they like to dish out misinformation just for the sake of it, because they, they, in their mind, they know darn well that they shouldn't be wearing this fez hat. They know that that fez hat is the hat of their oppressor. So they try to reach the Easter Island and try to use that as a source. Like, look, these ancient statues had a fez on their head when it's like sorry buddy first and foremost those statues aren't africans secondly the headdress on those statues are not fezes they're pucals look at the pucals on actual human beings this there's no way you're going to mistake this headdress for a fez no way so, ladies and gentlemen, does the pucal look like a fez? You see it side by side. There's no way that anyone from this point on, Morse Americans especially, there's no way you guys should mistake a pucal for a fez. The stone statues on Easter Island are wearing pucals not fez hats so you guys can no longer miseducate people out there and make statements like that now this morris gentleman was making a statement he was saying that the fez hat is an ancient headdress you can look to easter island and you can see the stone heads on easter island were wearing fezes and that information is incorrect so in his view, because it looked similar to a fez, in, in, in his opinion, it must have been a fez. That's like saying a banana and a plantain are the same things because they look alike. That's also like saying yams and sweet potatoes are the same because they look alike. And also saying things like roti and tortillas are the same because they're flat and they look alike. That's also like saying a cupcake and a muffin are the same because they're baked and shaped the same. That's also like saying coriander and parsley are the same because they're green and they're both leafy, and they look alike. It's also like saying pancakes and crepes are the same because they're flat, and you eat them with syrup, so they have to be the same. And it's also like saying a cucumber and a zucchini are the same because they're both green, they're both shaped the same, so they have to be the same. And that is not how things work. Just because something looks similar does not mean it's the same thing. And in the case of 
the stone heads on Easter Island and the headdress that they're wearing, the pukau, it is not a fez. Just because to that Moorish American, it looks similar to a fez, does not make it a fez. It is a pukau. So stop miseducating people trying to defend your fez. Stop doing it. You're doing a disservice to your people. The Stoneheads on Easter Island are wearing a pukau. They are not wearing a fez. Go to type up and go Google anybody, anybody in order to Google e, um, Easter Island. In this modern day and time, we're calling a fez. But like I told the brother, you could go to Easter Island and see a red block on their head. They may, may have called it another name, but here right now in this modern time, we're calling the fez or al faaz. If you want me to say al faaz, ancient Arabic, we could do that. I'm telling you something. Okay. I can stand here with this uniform on. Right. You can stand there with the feds on. The nation of Islam can stand here with his bow tie on. Okay. And the judge sitting behind the bench, how do you see him? How do he see all of us? He see all of us. Do he see you any better than me because you got the feds on? Yes. Or, yes. No, sir. Can he you, still can see you as a nigga. Can I ask why? He might come out and say something, but in his mind, look at these dressed up niggas. Can I That's the way he looks at us, brother. You are no better than me because you got the feds on. Can I ask now, can no, I ask no, a, no, on a, a, on a, no, the the tape is getting ready to cut off. Can ask a question. Yes, go ahead. The reason why, because he see that you have a headdress with your tassel swinging 360 degrees means that yeah. you are you are the father of that widow's son. You so, are the mother. So the policeman will hesitate to shoot you before he will shoot me. We know that's no excuse. In the dark, whatever you have a fez or not, you're still going to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ancient Kimites did not wear no feds. They sure did. You said they wore feds. They didn't they wear no feds. feds. Can I dress that? Dress that, brother. But we wore many different crowns. When you graduate, you went to elementary school, right? Did we wear them in ancient Egypt? Did, of course we did. No, we did. But it was no, different no. variations. No, we didn't. Okay, but can you show me that? Let me finish what I was can saying. Can you show me that on the right? Let me finish oh, what I was no. saying. You went to elementary school, right? Yes, sir. You went to high school. Okay, when you wear a cap and gown, the cap that you're wearing is a fez. Wrong. You went to elementary school, right? Yes, sir. You went to high school. Okay, when you wear a cap and gown, the cap that you're wearing is a fez. Doesn't it have a tassel on there? On, Isn't the square a motherboard? The sky is falling. This guy. <laughs> I just don't man, listen, man. I was like I say, man. When you, when you, when you getting off with the cultures, man. You got to break down the culture, man. Right. You got. You can't just point to and say that's no fans. That's not the, the African number warfare and the little and the one crowd that they want to claim. You got to understand. Only the Sultan ever wore a crown. So you can't go, I can show you, man, come on, man. I, I, you you I can show you a hundred thousand photos of H.E. Kent. The only person that you are ever going to see wearing a crown is a suit or a guard, a net or roof. That's it. The average cat never wore those crowns. So the one little crown, which was not a fair, because they, they want to show you one a Khufu, where it, they had broken the whole top of the crown off, so all you seen was the, you know, what right. would look like a fan. Right. But, you know, they don't show you, and then they don't show you how it's connected to the whole head. Right. And don't right. sit on the top around of the head. They no. come around the ears, and they come all the way down the neck. Okay, red don't belong to them. So if somebody a paint a, a hat red, it's got to be a fan. Is the feds red because the feds fell in some paint? Was it originally red <laughs> when you first had the feds? Was uh, it always red? I heard that. I heard. This, I heard that story that you mentioned. See, about, I heard um, that's what I'm bringing. Um, a more whether whether male or female, because I heard two stories. One story that it was a man. One story that it was a woman. And it was in like a den or a dungeon, and they wouldn't answer any questions or they wouldn't comply. And something happened about them getting attacked, and then the white feds fell into um, the pool of blood right. and that's how it became right. red. Right, that's well, what I meant. That's, that's one story I myself can't confirm, but I do know the story. However, we wore many different 
crowns. I'm calling it a fez. It may not have been called a fez back then, but the crown were many different colors. This color though, red, maroon, or crimson, shows you that um, basically you yourself is a master of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Once again, why your tasks are swinging 360 degrees. And it also shows you that the level that you are on. So oh, the, the fez, as right. we're calling it now in modern time, right now it may be red, but you may see um, a black one. Once again, showing that the Moors are not against black. Because so what Moors is the original color of the fez, brother? Excuse me? What is the original color? I have no idea, brother. What do the fez uh, represent? The fez, there you go. That's a good question. Okay. That's what we should be arguing instead of showing pictures of these impersonators wearing our fez. No, man. Let me answer the question. <laughs> can I ask the question? The answer the question. Hurry up so I can get on that now. <laughs> Don't let that go now. All okay. right. The fez itself, if you break down the fez, there's a top part and there's a bottom part. This representing as astrological information of 360 degrees above, 360 degrees below. If you look at this, this is the belly button. Because the universal, the universal birthmark of the human family that shows that we all come from a mother is the belly button. Then you have the umbilical cord. Then you have this, which is representing the sun, moon, or a star orbiting around the universe. This task will represent the 360 degrees and rays of information. The height of the fez represents something. This is your capstone. The reason why brothers wear caps in the hood and don't know where it comes from. There's a top of the cap, but nobody asks why that top piece is there. It doesn't belong in the cap. It's because this task was supposed to be there. Okay, you beat my fez up, bro. All right. <laughs> it's because the, the, um, the task was supposed to be there. And actually, you so know, we're not paying attention. This is an ancient crown representing mental, physical, spiritual science that you are a master hey. that impersonators have stolen. Hey, all Ivan Van Serma made Golden Age of the Moors with a red cover to do with what? The Moorish flag, which is over 10,000 to 50,000 years old. <laughs> what you talking about, Will? <laughs> Who was funding him? Document that, man. things that some of these... 50,000 years. Yeah, yeah, document, document that. Don't just say it. Document that. You're years, trying man. to doc... You could do the research. For example... Yes, we'll send you somewhere to get it. Where oh. is it? Okay, for the... Look on the map. Look on the map. How old, old is the Morris flag again? 10,000 to 50,000 years old. Wrong. Moors are awake. We are taking our place on this planet. How old is the Morris flag again? 10,000 to 50,000 years old. So how That's old is region. the Morris flag again? 10,000 to 50,000 years old. Come on, man. Come on, what? I mean, Stop that. These are your ancestors. I'm, I'm about these to go to it. I got it mapped about. out. I got it mapped out. I'm going to bring it here, go. I'm a brother of the craft of Amin Ra. I took my oath on sacred ground that I will always be here to defend my people. The enemy, if you see this hat in Africa, or anywhere else, if they can't make a, a, a distinction between our enemies and we on the battlefield, you don't have to stop to ask if a snake is poisonous. If you see a snake, then you take a snake's head. If you in Africa, do any research, any time a nigga befriended a in Africa, he wore that hat. And if we go to war in Africa, anybody you see with that hat, hat on, take their hate. Can I say something? That's my bottom line. Right. And that ain't an attack on my brother as my brother. But if we on the battlefield, ain't no way we gonna stop to ask know? somebody if that is you down. Okay, so this whole conversation revolved around the Fed's hat. Now, Sarah Sutensetti is trying to explain to these Morris Americans why they shouldn't be wearing the Fez hat. And what he's saying to them is that whenever you see that Fez hat in Africa, those hats represent people that helped oppress and colonize Africa. So when you see a person in Africa with a Fez hat on, that means that said individual or individuals are helping outsiders colonize Africa. Now, what these Moorish Americans don't realize is that, number one, the Fez hat is the hat of the oppressor, the Ottoman Turks. Number two, what they also don't realize is that that Fez hat in Africa is part 
of a military uniform slash police uniform. So they're running around with police hats slash military hats on their heads and they don't even realize it. Now, the people in Africa that wear these Fez hats that are in the military, they're going against their own people. So pretty much they're traitors. And that's what Sarah Sutton is trying to convey to these Morris Americans, but they just don't understand it or they, you know, they're stuck on their Moorish nonsense. So as I said, that fence hat, when you see it in Africa, right? That fence hat is the hat of people who help Africa's enemies colonize the continent. So they are, when you see that hat, you know that that person is a traitor to his own people because, as I stated, the military forces that helped the outsiders colonize Africa turn on their own people for money or, or whatever it was. And as I will show you, that hat is part of a military slash police uniform. Now, remember what the Moorish American said. He said, whenever you see somebody with the hat on, there are more. So that means these Moors helped colonize Africa. These Moors turned on their own people and helped colonize the continent. Any person that has a fez is either a Moor, a student of Moor science, or a descendant of Moors. Okay, so now it's time to take a look at some Ascari. Keep in mind, the Ascari are African traders who helped outsiders colonize Africa. Okay, so here we have some Ascari soldiers. Do you see the fez on their head? It has the tassel and everything. Now remember what the Moor said. He said, Anyone you see wearing a fez is a Moor. So these guys are Moors. They helped outsiders colonize Africa. They turn on their own people and help outsiders colonize Africa. And that is a fact. It is undisputable. Now, I told you that the Fez was part of a military slash police uniform and here you have it you're seeing it for yourself these Morris Americans don't even realize the headdress that they have on their head that headdress represents a traitor you guys are lost any person that has a Fez is either a Moor a student of Moore science or a descendant of Moore's. Okay, so we just took a look at the Ascari, and it is clear that part of their uniform was a Fez. Now, those African brothers that joined the Ascari forces are traitors to their own people because they helped outsiders colonize Africa. And as the Moore's brother stated, anyone wearing a Fez is a Moor. So those brothers were Moors. Moors have a long history of betraying their own people and they're still doing it to this day by selling them nationality paperwork and fake driver's license and nationality cards, all of that stuff that doesn't work. So they are still betraying their people to this day and that is the very reason I warn people to stay away from the Moorish movement because they are traitors to their own people. Now let's take a look at another African army 
who also wore the fez as a part of their uniform. These brothers were also Moors because as the Moorish American stated, anyone wearing a fez is a Moor. So let's take a look at another African army who also helped destroy Africa. Now let's take a look at some force public soldiers. You're going to see something very distinct on their heads as well. This is another African army who helped destroy Africa. Now it's abundantly clear that these soldiers in the force public also wear the fez as a part of their uniform. And as the Morris brothers stated, anyone wearing a fez is a Moor. So these Moors helped outsiders destroy Africa. Look at them. They all have on a fez. Now, Moors Americans don't realize that the headdress that they're wearing is number one, a hat of their oppressor the Ottoman Turks, and it is also a military headdress. It's part of military forces that helped destroy the continent that their forefathers are from. Now, I know a lot of Morris Americans, they like to claim this indigenous nonsense. You guys are not indigenous to the Americas. Your forefathers came from Africa, and here you see the hat that you wear is a part of of soldiers, different armies that help destroy Africa. Now I say all of that to say this. Now that you Morris Americans have this information, please take off that fez. That fez is nothing but a mark of being a traitor to your own race. It is not a good look. Now, I understand you guys were brainwashed with a lot of that Moorish nonsense, but this that I just showed you are the facts. This is undeniable. These are pictures, and pictures speak a thousand words. You guys are walking around with the headdress of traitors, traitors that help outsiders colonize the very continent that your forefathers are from. Moorish Americans, take off the fez. You guys look ridiculous. You guys did not do the history on that headdress. That headdress is the headdress of your oppressors, the Ottoman Turks. They hated you. They turned you into eunuchs. And it's also a headdress that is part of a military outfit. The very militaries that help destroy Africa. Moorish Americans, take the fez off your heads. The very fez that you guys are wearing does not represent anything whatsoever positive. Now, I know you guys tried to flip it and twist it into something else, but everything that you guys have flipped it and twisted to is all fictitious. When the world looks at you guys, they are laughing. They are laughing at you guys because you guys look ridiculous in those headdresses because you guys don't even really understand what the fez represents. The fez represents a traitor. Now, Moors have been traitors to their race for a very long time. So why would you tie yourself to that? That is not anything that you should be trying 
to connect yourself to. You guys are absolutely ridiculous with what you guys are doing. Take the Fez off. The Fez represents destruction and death. Death to the very continent that your forefathers came from. Take the Fez off of your heads. Any person that has a Fez is either a Moor, a student of Moor science, or a descendant of Moors. Hey, let's have a